Hello students, welcome back to our online classes from LPM Public School situated in Gola Bazar, Gorakhpur. I hope you all are fine and doing your studies at home. So this is your subject teacher of science and today I am here with a exercises of next chapter that is chapter 12 going to the moon. So my dear students in the explanation of this chapter you had already studied about the natural satellite of the earth that is moon and about the person who landed on the moon. Students, before starting this exercises, let's recall the poem that is given in your textbook. I saw the moon one windy night. I saw the moon one windy night. So students here, word windy, do you know the meaning of windy? It means with a lot of wind. It means I saw the moon one windy night. It means with a lot of wind at that night and flying so fa fast all silvery white flying so fast all silvery white so students do you know the color of the moon right the color of moon is silvery white and the moon was flying so fast in the sky over the sky like a toy balloon over the sky like a toy balloon so students on the sky or over the sky moon is the moon looks like a toy balloon. Loose from its string, a runaway moon. Loose from its string, a runaway moon. So, my dear students, moon loose from its string. So, do you know what is string? String means a thin rope that you use for tying things. So, students, this thin rope is made by twisting very thin threads together. Okay. So, I hope you enjoy this poem. Students, now let's come to the topic. So, students, here I am going to tell you how to write the exercises in your notebook. So, first of all, take out your notebook and your pencil eraser sharpener, sharpener along with you students here as you know that when we are going to write the exercises in our notebook first of all we have to mention chapter so here you can write chapter 12 and the name of the chapter, so what's the name of the chapter is? Right, going to the moon. So students here, look, this is a beautiful picture of moon that I draw for you. You can also draw this in your notebook. Now students, first of all, we are going to discuss about the word meaning. First of all, write your word, then meaning. So, first word is windy. So, the meaning of windy is with a lot of wind. Next word is string. And meaning of string is thin rope that you use for tying things. Students, what is the meaning of string? Thin rope that you use for tying things. Now students, next word is astronaut. So it means a person who travels in a spacecraft. Astronaut means a person who travels in a spacecraft. Next word is space. It means the area beyond 
the earth's atmosphere where the stars and planets are so students meaning of space is the area beyond the earth's atmosphere where the stars and planets are now next word is neighbor so students neighbor means who lives near another like you know that a moon is the nearest neighbor of the earth so neighbor means who lives near another now students last word is no it means information in your mind what is the meaning of no information in your mind now students let's come to the exercises here exercise a draw a moon for the true statement and a ball for the false ones students here you have to draw a moon for the true statements and a ball for the false one so let's read the first statement man landed on the moon in the year 1959 so students this statement is not true because man landed on the moon in the year 1969 so for false one you will draw here a ball like this okay now let's come to the second statement we cannot live on the moon so students this statement is true so here you have to draw a moon in the given box now third statement kalpana chawla went into space in 1997 the students this statement is true so here you can write sorry you can draw a moon in the given box now last statement is sunita williams stayed in space for 12 months so students this statement is not true because sunita williams stay in space for 6 months so here you have to draw a ball like this okay so this exercise is completed now so let's come to the next exercise that is exercise b fill in the blanks so students here we are going to fill the given blanks okay so here first one there is no dash to breathe on the moon so students here you will write air a i r air there is no air to breathe on the moon next one is there is no dash to drink on the moon so students what we drink yes we drink water so here you will write w a t e r water okay students don't forget to put full stop after completing the sentences okay because this punctuation marks are very important now students third one there is no life on the moon so here you can write life in the given blank now students let's come to the last last one das was the first indian woman to go into space so you know very well in the explanation of this chapter i had already taught you that kalpana chawla was the first indian woman to go into 
space. So here you will write Kalpana Chawla in the given blank. Okay. So I hope all the exercises you understood very well by the help of this video. Now students, here a note for you. Complete these exercises in your HW. It means fair copy. So students, the exercises that are sent to you in a PDF form in your WhatsApp group, you have to complete all the exercises in your fair copy. It means your HW copy, and also learn it. Okay. So in our next video, we will discuss about remaining exercises of this chapter. So meet you soon with a explanation of remaining exercises of this chapter. Students, do practice of reading and complete all the exercises that is given as a pdf form in your whatsapp group and don't forget to learn okay now your turn to study it and grasp it till then stay safe stay healthy and stay at your home thank you students bye and take care